bug have, each bug has a unique place in the world and each one is different from every other one. This is a lobster roach. I don't know why it has a name, but it doesn't look like anything like a lobster. But here's the lobster roaches and they're fast. This guy's a little slower. So that's kind of helpful. Hi, my name is Shelby. I am from Claremore, Oklahoma, and I collect insects. I was three when I first started collecting insects. Did I have any idea that her, her insect collection would grow to, to this size and scope? No, absolutely not. I never, never would have dreamed it. Here I have the shadow and chrome. I have white horn and Halloween here. I have the extinct in the wild. These are my deaf heads. These are my walking sticks. This is the vinegaroon. I have mealworms here. I have a gecko here. I have question mark here, hissers, and water glue spots. And then I have porcelain and lobster. So there are 3,500 different species of roaches and only about 30 of them are bad humans. They are bad because they infest houses or they might carry disease. Okay, if you look closely, right, it's right there, it's like a question mark, and that's why they got the name question mark roaches, I think. Today we are going to be releasing some monarch butterflies. She's very passionate about educating people with her insects. That's the whole reason that, you know, we've let her do what we have. Yeah. I like teaching people about insects because I think it's good to let most people know that not all insects are bad. Okay, you ready? Let him free. Three. Fly me free. Rice. Rice. Um, ten years ago, I would have said never. There's never going to be a snake in my home. And the snake was kind of her gift. It was her gift. It was a gift to her after she had her back surgery. She's like, Mom. I'm going to have this back surgery. She said, we don't know what's going to happen. She's like, can I have a snake? She doesn't like snakes, and she's like, yes. Shelby was so excited when we got the corn snake, and I really think it was a big, intricate part of her healing process. It was the spinal surgery that highlighted she had the brain tumor. One of the most recent surgeries I had is a brain tumor removed. And before my spinal surgery, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. And my mom took me to for MRIs and she just told me they were shaking out my back since she didn't want me to worry about that. And last summer I had the tumor removed. It's been the hardest year of our lives. Imagine getting up every day and just wondering, is today the day that you're going to get a phone call that she's had a seizure at school? Mm -hmm. um, is she going to wake up? You know, you worry every day. I think that the roaches help. Um, you know, they give her something to look forward to. She cares so much for them. Every time, when we came home, shortly after we came home from her last surgery, um, she had successfully bred a, a different species of roach and she was just over the moon excited. Um, generally, on Saturdays, we just go through each of the, each of the boxes and just make sure that they have fresh vegetables and water and food. Do you like having a bigger area? About midweek, we check the water, um, but they're very low maintenance. It's, it's a rare thing that we ever actually find one outside of the cage. This one's hissing. Oops. You okay, little one? I'm gonna drop you. I'm not a very big fan of her bug collection. Why is that? Yeah, it's, I don't really like bugs very much. Shelby's a force. She just, um, she's a great sparkling personality and no matter what obstacles she come across in life, she, she's just done it, gone through it happily. Something? Here some. Her love for nature, she loves everything about it. 
It's also it's great. Um, my favorite bug in my collection now are the extinct in the wild. And the reason why they have the name extinct in the wild, they were found in a cave in 2004 in Africa by scientists shortly after they were discovered. Their only habitat was destroyed and they were only alive because of captivity. That one might be a little pregnant because it's round, so I'm leave her. She likes it and it's, it's good for her. Yeah. Um, Shelby's just such a miracle. She's even with us. And I, I mean, what's a few bugs? You know, they're not causing anybody any harm. What I love about all the roaches is they're unique and special and they have their own place in the world. 